Hello friends, welcome to our read aloud of Holes. We're getting ready to get into chapter 15. So in our last chapter, the warden, who we found out was a female, came out because they had found something interesting and she had given Mr. Pandansky, remember the warning, he could either fill the canteens or dig the holes because he was kind of arguing back with her. And X-Ray is going to hopefully get the day off. So here we go into chapter 15. Mr. Pandansky filled the canteens. The warden got a pitchfork out of the back of the pickup. She poked it through X-Ray's dirt pile to see if anything else might have been buried in there as well. After you drop off X-Ray, I want you to bring back three wheelbarrows, she said. X-Ray got in the pickup. As the truck pulled away, he leaned out the window and waved. Zero, said the warden. I want you to take over X-Ray's hole. She seemed to know that Zero was the fastest digger. Armpit and squid, you will keep digging where you've been, she said. But you're going to each have a helper. Zigzag, you help Armpit. Magnet, you will help Squid. And Caveman, you will work with Zero. We're gonna dig the dirt twice. Zero will dig it out of the hole and Caveman will carefully shovel it into a wheelbarrow. Zigzag will do the same for Armpit and the same for Magnet and Squid. We don't wanna miss anything. If either of you find something, you'll both get the rest of the day off and a double shower. When the wheelbarrows are full, you are to dump them away from this area. We don't want any dirt piles to get in the way. The warden remained at the site for the remainder of the day, along with Mr. Pandansky and Mr. Sir, who showed up after a while. Occasionally, Mr. Sir would leave to take water to the other groups of campers, but otherwise he and the water truck stayed parked right there. The warden saw to it that nobody in Group D was ever thirsty. Stanley did as he was told. He carefully looked through all the dirt Zero dug up, as he shoveled it into a wheelbarrow, though he knew he wouldn't find anything. It was easier than digging his own hole. When the wheelbarrow was full, he took it a good distance away before dumping it. The warden couldn't keep still. She kept walking around, looking over the boys' shoulders and sticking her porch pitchfork through their dirt piles. You're doing fine, just fine, she told Stanley. After a while, she told the boys to switch places so that Stanley, Zigzag, and Magnet dug in the holes and Zero, Armpit, and Squid shoveled the excavated dirt into the wheelbarrows. After lunch, Zero took over the digging again and Stanley returned to the wheelbarrow. There's no hurry, the warden said several times. The main thing is not to miss anything. The boys dug until each hole was well over six feet deep and wide. Still, it was easier for two boys to dig a six-foot hole than it was for one boy to dig a five-foot hole. All right, that's enough for today, the warden said. I've waited this long. I can wait another day. Mr. Sir drove her back to her cabin. I wonder how she knows all of our names, Stanley said as he walked to the compound. She watches over us all the time, said Zigzag. She's got hidden microphones and cameras all over this place. In the tents, the rec room, the shower. The shower? Says, asked Stanley. He wondered if Zigzag was just being a little paranoid. Cameras are tiny, said Armpit. No bigger than the toenail on your little toe. Stanley had his doubts about this. He didn't think they could make cameras that small. Microphones, maybe. He realized that was why X-Ray didn't want to talk to him about the gold tube at breakfast. X-Ray was afraid the warden might be listening. One thing was certain, they weren't just digging to build character, they were definitely looking for something. And whatever they were looking for, they were looking in the wrong place. Remember, Stanley is the one who dug it up in a different hole. Stanley gazed out across the lake toward the spot where he had been digging yesterday when he found the gold tube. He dug that hole into his memory. And we'll find out why later on he puts that hole into his memory. All right, I will see you for another read aloud soon. Remember, be kind, smile, and have a good day.